distracted talking about food. Well, what can you do? <laughs> hey guys, it's Red Lace, and today we are playing Starbound. We are bounding the stars with Lunella Starlace, my lovely little apex. <laughs> You're not vegan or vegetarian by any means, but food options these days. You love to try it all. Devil's Nest, yeah, lots of good options out there. Speaking of food, check out my lovely loaf of bread I'm hauling around. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> You like some salt, not a lot chronic? Yeah. Okay, so I did a little redecorating since last time we played. So I made this a little platform because I was sick of leaving my door open to the outside because monsters kept landing in my house and it wasn't very pleasant. I also added a... Oops, I fell. I also added a doorbell gong. <laughs> For no reason other than I like it. And we got our fish tank, and our bongo drum, and a flood on the balcony, because that's always important. And now it's in the house. Oops. <laughs> we got a, a really cool rocking chair, but it doesn't rock, which is unfortunate. <laughs> doesn't rock. And then I also got my new schmancy kitchen setup, which I'm super excited about. Look how pretty. This is actually a stove, so I can actually use it as my cooking table. I don't have to have the ugly cooking table. So that's pretty exciting. I also... what else did I do? I really need to get some lights out here. It's so dark. Ah! Monsters! I also added a pretty bunny statue out by my bridge. Isn't it cute? I thought it was pretty cute. Alright. <laughs> Let's go back where the light is without the monsters. Ah, uh, thanks, Chronic. I need the slow clap. <laughs> you bought Starbound and played a whole hour and have no clue what you're doing but managed to build a really weird house. Well, that's awesome, Raven. My indie guide to Starbound will come in super handy for you here soon. We're getting close to the first beta edition release for the early adopters, so that's exciting. So let's check our log and see what we're going to do today. So, we have two quests. Butcher, Baker, Widowmaker. Being a bounty hunter is hard sometimes. I have feelings too. If I had a cake, I could apologize to the widow of my last victim. Bring me a cake and I'll give you a cool sword and a little something extra for your trouble. The only thing I'm missing here is sugar, and I haven't found sugar yet, so I'm still on the hunt for sugar. And then the other one is the grass is greener. Hi there! After the Florin drove the high level into the ocean, we began using kelp as a currency. As it happens, I'm still partial. If you bring me 300 kelp from the bottom of an ocean plant, I'll give you a bio implant that allows you to survive on radioactive planets. So I guess we're headed to an ocean. Let's do it! Beam me up, Scotty! <laughs> Oh, don't chuck the poor kitty out the window. She just loves you. I got a weasel in my ship. A weasel. Is this an ocean? We haven't been here. It's right next door. Let's do it. Take me to the ocean. That's a great idea, Chronic. Take the cat, put it outside your room, close the door, problem solved. Kitty's happy, you're happy. So great. <laughs> May is 1.0. It is May right now, Papyrus. I don't think they've actually announced the specific date for 1.0. It's just coming soon still, isn't it? Yeah, it sounds like a pretty good reward, Devil's Quest, I agree. We're going down to get that kelp. <laughs> that could be. You might be allergic to your cat. Maybe that's where your hives are coming from. So I always put a torch right where I land on the planet so that I know where I started. So if I loop the surface, I'll know when I've made it all the way around. Oh, I didn't even see that guy down there. Deadly snail alert. Look at that guy. Uh-oh. The game froze. Okay. The game froze just in time for the snail to attack me again. Lovely. Hey Adri, how's it going today? Glad you made it. 
Hey Tom, how you doing today? All right, here we go. Geronimo! <laughs> Cross your fingers for no big fish. I don't want to be eaten. Ooh, there's a little jellyfishes. Oh, there's a big fish. You stay over there. <laughs> My cat does that too, Raven. If I put her out the door, she just sits out there and meows at me endlessly, so can't really do that. <laughs> Alright, well I guess let's go this way. Ooh, what's in there? That's different. I want to see what's down there. Side quest! I guess I can't put a torch down. It's kind of in the water, huh? I guess it's nothing. Nothing at all. Come on, kelp. Where are you at? <laughs> yeah, the uh, NPCs do have pretty good lives, and you can actually become a landlord in Starbound and um, build houses for people and let them move in, and they'll give you rewards occasionally. Ooh, let's get this fish. Give you rewards occasionally for being a good landlord, which is pretty cool. And um, they also, the NPC you get is based on the d decor of the house you build. So if you theme out the house to, like, uh, Hawaiian items, you'll get a luau villager. And he'll actually be wearing, like, a grass hula skirt and coconuts and all that fun stuff. <laughs> and uh, you also have a chance to get merchant NPCs, so you could actually buy and sell and trade with them right on the planet. So these really tall stalks are kelp, and that is what we are after for the mission. So we need 300 pieces of kelp, so let's dig like pros. What is that? It looks like a cage. It is a cage, an underwater cage. Interesting. You just got to the underworld of Terraria, Evertwitch? Nice work. Congrats. I should come play Portal Nights with you soon, Raven? Yeah, we'll have to do that. Check out your castle. <laughs> I saw there's an update I need to update today. I feel like I just updated that game like yesterday, but I guess there's another one? I don't know. <laughs> it's 3 a.m. there, Hundi. Ouch. Remind me, are you uh, Australia or New Zealand? I can't remember. Oh yeah, I know I can get the cage, Papyrus, but I don't I don't want the cage. It's ugly. It's all broken and stuff. <laughs> Big hole. Where does it go? Nobody knows. Hey Katakoro! How's it going? Welcome. Welcome. Australia. I thought it was Australia. 9 p.m. for you, Tom. Nice and late in the evening. Nine p.m. for Adri, also late for you. Alright, we need all this kelp and I want inside this building. <laughs> the western coast of Australia, Hundi? Nice. I would love to go to Australia. It looks like a beautiful place. I really like uh, a lot of Australian TV shows, specifically, um, what's that one called? I haven't seen it in a while. It's a cooking show, um, MasterChef Australia. I really like that one. That's not very appropriate, Green. Not very appropriate at all. Three AM and ninety three degrees. Oh my goodness. How's it ninety three at three oh three PM? I was gonna say three AM. That seems way too early to be that hot. <laughs> Here, let's get in this little house. I want the goodies. Have you ever been to Europe, Adri? No, I haven't. I would love to go to Europe as well. 
I haven't left the North American continent. <laughs> I would love to do some traveling though. Gone to Canada many times. Um, traveled around America a bit. Been from one coast to the other. <laughs> and places in between. But no, I haven't got to go abroad and I would love to. One day. Okay, so I got an upgrade module, nine silly water balloons, a seashell, sh a sea, <laughs> a seashell shield. Say that three times fast. <laughs> a seashell shoot. I can't even say it once. <laughs> How many kelp do I have? I have 300 kelp. Yay! Let's get out of the ocean. Let's go turn it in and get our reward. Yeah, I love Master Chef Hundi. Such a good show. You learn so much watching it too, and it's always entertaining. I love the mystery box. The mystery box. Ooh, what will it be? It's always so exciting. Alright. Let's skadoodle. We got our 300 kelp. To the outpost we go. <laughs> you go to Tokyo every year for Pyrus? That's pretty awesome. Jealous? I'd love to go to Tokyo. Okay, there's the little avian. Apologies for the lag, guys. This is early access, and the outpost hasn't been optimized yet, so it's a little laggy when I'm here. Quest complete. The grass is greener. Such beautiful kelp. You've outdone yourself. The bio implant is yours. Ah, well, thank you. Thank you very much. Radiation resistance bio implant received. Explore radioactive planets. Hey, Deboki, how's it going today? Glad you made it. What's up? See, Adri, you can't even type it. <laughs> it's too hard to say. <laughs> you never go on a cooking and baking show if it's too stressful, Hundi. I agree. I think it is as well. I agree. What just happened? Why can't I move? There we go. Stupid leg. Dude, I'm trying to talk to you and you're running away. Stop running. <laughs> is it possible that everyone who is here now with Starbone could join Red Lace? Um, well, I don't have a server set up, Tom, so I'm playing solo right now. No server. We do have community playdates that I hope to set up soon, though, so those will be announced in the Steam group when we do decide to do them. Florin would like to know if you'd like to visit Florin party? Florin will give you coordinates if you prove to Florin you are tough enough. Show Florin some dura steel armor and Florin will tell you where to go. Nettle Hunter, you sound like you were tricking me. Tricky, tricky. She's already way down there. I love that they move while you're talking to them. It's pretty funny. Okay, are there any quests for anybody else while I'm here? In Leg Town, we call the outpost. <laughs> Nobody over there. Okay. You just finished lunch. I know, Devoki is so excited for the Starbound guide. It's gonna be epic. I've been working on it uh, quite a bit. I worked on it some yesterday, too. Even though it was my day off. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. And 1.0 is gonna come out soon, so that's even cooler. <laughs> There is a lot going on in this game. It's very involved. Yes, I agree. Yeah, I think I've played it enough that I kind of have a good gauge on what's going on. But yeah, if you're new to the game, there is a lot of just what the f <laughs> excuse me, what the hell is going on? <laughs> and so <laughs> there's a lot of, you know, unexpected and, you know, well, what do I do now? How do I progress? So yeah. That's okay, greens. Don't worry about it. Will I play Stardew with you when it comes out on co-op? I'll probably do community playdates for Stardew, Adri, yeah. 
It is a trap devil's nest. I agree. <laughs> you joined the Steam group yesterday, Tom? That's awesome. So I need Durasteel. Durasteel. Let's see where we could find Durasteel. Hey, White Owl, how's it going today? Okay, let's. So we found titanium on a moderate threat, so we need to go somewhere harder. Out of eccentric, I'm guessing. Let's go to not a gentle, an eccentric. We are on an eccentric. Um, let's check out. Let's check out a different eccentric star system. You already got Durasteel Armor Papyrus? Nice job. Yes, 1.0 is going to have huge updates to Bohi, yeah. It's going to add a lot of new story, much more than there is now. And uh, the progression system might change slightly from what I understand, and uh, just tons of new stuff. Tons of new biomes, dungeons, gun mechanics, all sorts of cool things. They're doing a ton. They're also going to be optimizing the game so it reduces the lag. Multiplayer will be a lot better. There's just a ton of stuff. Yeah, a ton, a ton of stuff. Yeah, go for it, Megan. Yeah, post it. Yeah. A radioactive planet? Well, I gotta find a radioactive planet. That's the thing. Where is one, Papyrus? We gotta look for it. Here's one, I think. High levels of radiation, non-breathable atmosphere, poisonous oceans. I don't know if I want to go to a poisonous ocean, though. Ocean doesn't sound fun since I don't have a boat. So let's try to find a radioactive planet that's not an ocean. Oh, I already looked at this system. Oops. <laughs> you no know, kidding, Devoki. Say goodbye to all your free time. <laughs> I know how that goes. <laughs> I don't even think I have enough fuel to get to this system. It looks like 210 out of 1,000. I don't know if I have enough fuel. Maybe I need to travel somewhere closer. Are there any radioactive planets on this system that I'm in? Because then I could travel for free. I don't think there are. Okay. No. All right. Let's look at a different, a different system. Frozen star, maybe we'll find a radioactive. Could be. Frigid oceans, dangerous. Uh, this might be out of our reach. So we need another eccentric system. I need to fuel up my ship here. I think I have more fuel in here because I don't think I'm gonna make it there. Okay. So now we got more fuel. I need another eccentric star that has a radioactive planet. We are hunting. We will find one, guys. <laughs> Good call, Megan. Yeah, if you're looking for fuel, you can get one on an airless planet on the moon, so liquid Urchius. Luckily, I had some stashed, so I think I'm good. I just have to find a darn radioactive planet, and it can't be an ocean because I need to get underground so I can actually mine for durasteel stuff. Unless I can make durasteel, I might be able to craft durasteel. Moderate, my goodness, come on. It's just not being very polite with letting me find a... That's a fiery, that's going to be way too hard. Here's an eccentric, the Lena Threshold. Forest, arid, ocean. Well, now I'm wishing we would have gone to the the, the radioactive ocean because I'm sitting here taking forever trying to find a radioactive planet. Usually it's not this difficult to find one. Usually I feel like they're all over the place. Alright, um... 
Where's my guy? So, radioactive star, that's what we were after. Yay! I found one, guys. I found one! Look at all these risky tropical places. Let's go. Threat, risky, surface, warm and wet climate sustains tropical plant life, high levels of radiation. Let's rock and roll. We're going. We're off. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of slime. <laughs> Okay, so I need to equip my suit. So we're gonna go to sale. We're gonna go to show me my tech. And then we're gonna go to the implant. And you have a choice, so you can choose breath protection. So now you can see over here it updated to air supply. And it tells you the description. But we want radiation protection. Protects the wearer from the deadly radiation found on certain planets. Also supplies oxygen. So we'll select that tech. So now we have oxygen and radiation protection. So we are good to go. Yeah, a little bit of buffering here and there can happen with the early access titles. They have not been optimized yet. <laughs> wizard of Slime. There's got to be a slimy wizard. Ooh, look at all the pretty planets. I love when you actually load down onto the planet and you get to see all the other planets that are in the system you're in. It's pretty cool. Alright. Here we go, guys. He's probably gonna murder me. <laughs> as long as we don't run into flying monkeys. <laughs> I hope not, Chronic. Those things are scary. Ooh, and just what we needed. Sugar. Yes! I can make a cake now, guys. I can make a cake. <laughs> And we can finish that stupid quest that I've had forever. <laughs> Why do I always land on planets when it's nighttime? What's that about? I'll get some vine. I need some vines. I know that. What am I going to play on Throwback Thursday, White Owl? Um, I is yet to be announced. It'll be a surprise. A surprise. You'll have to tune in to find out. But I'll tell you what, it's a good one. It is a fun, fun game. I hear something flying. Oh, there it is. It's so hard to see at night. I hear you fly. It's dangerous. <laughs> it's so dangerous here. Is that an item or is that just regular blocks? Oh, it sounds like ore. It's making tinking noises like ore. Oh, it's just coal. That's nothing very exciting. Ow! 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 Sugar, sugar, do, 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 do. Oh, honey, honey. <laughs> I know, devil, what luck, right? After all that hunting for a radioactive planet, the first one I come to has sugar, too. Like, what a bonus. What does a cake do, Deboki? Yeah, it's for a quest. I've had it forever, this butcher, baker, widow maker. I have to bring this guy a cake, and I have the egg and the milk and all the wheat, but I didn't have the sugar, and so <laughs> now I finally can make him a cake, and I think that's holding me up for my ship update. So I think when I turn this in, I may get an upgraded ship, so it could be really exciting. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen some of the bugs in Florida Raven. I don't want to meet them again. You have bugs the size of dinner plates. <laughs> Too scary. Ouch. Die fly. I'm trying to wait for daytime because I know this planet's harder than I'm ready for. So I'm trying to wait till the sun comes out because the monsters get easier during the day. <laughs> Yes, Papyrus, I am happy you did. Thank you. Oh, Adri stealed my sugar. You thief. Thief! There's a lot of flies. Flies everywhere. Ow. Hey, more vines. Looks like there might be a um, florin influence on this planet as well because of all the vines that are around. These are all usually florin related. 
these vine blocks, so that'll be interesting to see. <laughs> yes, give me my sugar back. Okay, I need some dirt so I can get up. Thank you for the follow, is your senpai. You are fantastical. Meow. <laughs> Alright, I need dirt. Dirt don't hurt. It looks like the sun's coming out. So woohoo on that front. Flowers. Flower petals. More sugar. Hey. Hey girl, hey. <laughs> Hey, awesome player! No problem, glad you made it. Welcome to the stream. The music is really good in this game, Devoki, I agree. I love the music. I often just leave it on in the background. Like, I'll go do something and I'll have it playing and do some work for a while and leave my Starbound tunes running in the background. <laughs> this is a pretty cool little thing right here. How pretty is this? Screenshot! It's pretty. I like it. <laughs> oh, you gotta go, my awesome player? Alright, we'll see you later. Ooh, a bug. Let's catch it. A bright stripe bug. So if you have a bug net, you can catch bugs on planets, and they come in the form of little jars. So see the bugs now in a little jar that I can place somewhere for decoration, and they'll actually fly around in the jar, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> I need two diamonds and two upgrade modules in order to upgrade your ship. I have them, Tom. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I got them. I've been stocking up. Waiting. Waiting for the moment. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? Ooh, what's that? Let's take it. A banana seed. Where's a fly swatter when you need one? Or a rolled up newspaper? I know, Raven. Good thing I got a bubble sword. Bubbles! <laughs> what jacket should you give to that Florin White Owl? Well, if you look at your quest log, it's gonna say they want a cool jacket. And you can make a cool jacket at a loom. So you'll need to craft a loom, and then you can make the cool jacket, and that's actually the name of it. And uh, that's what you're gonna need to give them. Dirt urchin, that's new. Doesn't sound very tasty, it sounds dirty. Dirty urchin. <laughs> okay. Doo -doo -doo. I kinda wanna stick on the surface just to see if there's anything neat here, and then I'll go underground and maybe do a little digging. But I haven't explored a surface yet. I've been doing a lot of digging, so I kind of want to surface explore. This looks like there's going to be something here. Usually when there's a big flat area, it means you found something exciting. And I did. It's an Apex research facility where they're doing horrible tests on the poor Apex, my own kind. I must save them all. Can we turn the TV on? No. Now the TV's on. Okay, I've restored power. Ooh, scientist glasses. Look at me, guys. <laughs> what do you think of my new look? I'm an apex scientist. Yeah, I look totally nerded out. <laughs> cookies, yum. I want some cookies. Hey, Pavo, how's it going today? So usually you can find the entire scientist set here, so it comes with like a lab coat, glasses, pants, and then you can look like one of the the lab research technicians, which is pretty cool. Books. We'll read these later so we can read them in order. I like to read them in order so you actually get the full story, otherwise you get bits and pieces and you're like, what are they talking about? Oh, here we go. We got one, two, and three. Should we read them? Let's read them. Let's get some of the backstory. So if you want to read a book, you just drag it up to your character up here in the corner and drop it. Project Incarcerous Notes Number One. Day One. The inmates are doing well. There had been some infighting, but this was quickly tempered with some short blasts of cold water. Observing the chatter, it is surprising how quickly the Minicog soldiers are adopting to life behind bars. The Apex citizens are not adopting their guard roles quite so easily. They are hesitant. 
unsure of themselves and unwilling to assert their authority over the prisoners. This is interesting, as my original hypothesis predicted that the citizens would quickly turn on the minicog. Perhaps current minicog methods are fully effective in conditioning the citizens to obey. Perhaps Big Ape is wrong to be concerned. But still, this is only day one of the experiment, and a lot could change. And if you ever want to go back and read Codex stuff, you can do that from this icon up here in the Codex and we'll read more of it, so... Your brother just asked if you want almond cake and you're not allowed to have almonds, Papyrus. <laughs> Sounds like my sister. She knows I'm allergic to nuts and she made me like a uh, banana cake or a banana bread once and she ground up walnuts into it. About killed me. I had to go rush off. It's awesome fun. <laughs> awesome fun. Big ape is all seeing Devil's Nest. <laughs> I'm gonna save the Apex. The poor Apex, I can't let them stay here. <laughs> Grab the cool doors, Tom. I think I have to wait till I clear out the, um, or do something. I think I have to activate before I can take stuff. Yeah, it's all locked until you complete the building. So you can't, you can't mine anything out. I have to wait. Ape flu is no joke. It is. <laughs> Uh, you have to craft armor, White Owl. You need to make it at your crafting table and your anvil will usually let you upgrade your armor. Danger! Danger! Ooh, look! I'm being experimented on. It's healing me, though, so we'll rock it for a minute. <laughs> Alright. Fully healed. Ready to go. At least there's no apex floating in this machine. Danger! The lights have turned on. Ooh, look at the goodies. Oh, there's an apex in there. I can't get in there yet. Alright, left or right? Which way, guys? So we have to activate this thing down here before we can steal stuff from the facility. And it looks like it's locked in by double doors, so... Left or right? Left or right? No suggestions? Okay, I'm going left. <laughs> so this is like a platforming challenge, and I'm terrible at these, so we'll be lucky if I survive. <laughs> Let's eat some bread first, because then I'll get constant healing. I always over jump. Oh, I'm doing okay right now. Hey! So we don't want to touch the electricity. The electricity is bad. Ow! As I was saying, bad electricity. Ouch! <laughs> Danger! Okay, now we got poison to deal with on top of the electricity. We can't bust in there. If an apex was floating in the machine, you'd have a problem. There was one, though. Hey, Banana Owl, how's it going today? <gasps> oh no, I'm in the poison! No! No! <laughs> Right's always the right way, and I went left. <laughs> Too late. Hey, a banana. I want a big banana sign. Deboki said left. Deboki's with me on the left. Yeah. Ouch! This place is sadistic. <laughs> it's a monkey hatred zone. Ugh. Oh, I made it! Look at the chest! What'd I get? A tech drive. A blank tech drive. I can program tech into this at my ship's computer. Okay. Now we've done it. We've hit the switch. The alarm has been triggered. Now I have to make it back. Oh, swimming in the poison. Swimming in the poison. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, Raven. No kidding. Ow! Ow! <laughs> I think I'm very bad at this. I shouldn't. I need to make more food. I only have five pieces of bread. I don't think it's gonna get me through the. Ow! Through the facility. <laughs> oh, 
this is insane. Okay. Oh! I overshot. Ouch. Shouldn't my scientist goggles, like, give me a bump in something? Because I could be a mad scientist. Shouldn't I be immune to some of the mad scientist mechanics? <laughs> Sign was just in time, you summoned it, now where's that owl banana? I'm totally confused. Totally confused. Oh, I almost missed that. That would have been a bummer. Okay. Get back up. Oh, ow! I made it. Yay. Safety at last. I know, Del, now I have to go back. Okay, so we opened the first gate, so now we just have to get through the next one. So now we gotta go right. Here we go. Right's not looking much better, guys. Ooh. Oh! Ow! 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 <laughs> so bad! This one looks hard. Oh, I made it. Oh, and then I walked into the little electricity anyway. Good job, Red. Good job. Ouch. Ouch. Heal. <gasps> no! I almost died. Oh, that would have been so bad. <laughs> I am a bad parkour papyrus. You're right. It's a dangerous place. It's a dangerous place indeed. Yeah, I shouldn't be allowed to do these jumps. Lights! Danger. Let's go down. More danger. Danger, danger. Oh. Alright, I made it. What do we get in this one? A Zeely Pulse Barrage Grenade Launcher that does ice damage. That's pretty groovy. Groovy. Alright, we've activated alarm number two. Let's go back. Things should be open now. There's no apex to save, though. You meant the banana sign was just in time with my rival. Oh, it was banana. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I got it. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> yeah, Raven. Well, it is an early access, so areas like this do get to be a ten or tend to be a bit more laggy. Oh, shoot. Shoot. No, 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 no. Heal. 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 Oh, oh that was close. You know what needs to happen right now? Sleeping bag. Oh, I can't put anything down. <laughs> I'm trying to not suck papyrus. I'm doing my best. <laughs> I'm, I'm just not very good at it. It's a little laggy, so it's a little hard. Oh, I missed again. Alright, maybe third time's the charm? Sounds stormy out there. No! Oh, this is so hard to get back up. <laughs> Gonna go through all my bandages just trying to get out of this stupid place. Okay. Ouch. Oh, I made it. Oh, I made it. Look at me go. Oh, don't walk into the wall of electricity. Or jump into that. Okay, one more jump. I can do it. Yay! <laughs> Someone's like this when you flip off your chair, Adri. <laughs> this is hard. Oh my goodness. Ow. Ow. Good news, guys. I made it back. I made it back. Ow! 
Ouch! Okay, so I destroyed that machine and now I can take whatever I want. It's mine. All mine. I like these lights. I kind of want to steal all of them. I'm going to steal a few of them anyway. They won't mind. They don't need them. No one's here anyway. I take all the lights. <laughs> Thank you, Raven. I do try. <laughs> Big ape is all seeing. All right. I can get into this fancy room. There is a monkey in here. Poor monkey. Sorry I couldn't save you, my friend. The Shade Co. Solar Pitcher. Fire damage. Oh, machine pistol. One-handed. Damage per shot, 2.2. .2. Rate of fire, 6.7. Energy per shot, 2. Interesting. Damage, 1.9. Damage 2.2, 6.7 rate of fire, 8.2 rate of fire. This one doesn't have a special, so I don't want it. No special, no deal. I do want this stuff though. I think these are pretty cool. Do it for the Apex Devil's Nest! Yes! Apex power! Power to the Apex! <laughs> so now I can take all the cool Apex stuff. It's mine. All mine. <laughs> I kind of want to take all this glass, too. Just because I don't have a lot of glass. It seems like it'd take too long. These are pretty cool lockers. Ah, heck, let's just take it all. <laughs> Don't let red go through electricity maze. Probably a good idea, virus. Probably a good idea. Electricity mazes don't appear to be my forte. <laughs> I won't lie. <laughs> but I made it. I didn't die. So, you know, there's that. I'd say I did alright if you look at it that way. <laughs> <laughs> the doors! Yes, Tom, I can steal the doors now. Apex security doors. For all your household needs. I want all these silver platforms. These are pretty pimp. Danger! Take it all. I want it all. And I want it now. Level one. Uh oh. Is my inventory full? Oh, wait, we better read another codex. I think that's gotta happen. Clear out some room. <laughs> Steal the electrical things and put them in your house, Raven. Then I'll go zap zap all the time. <laughs> Welcome back, Pavo. Notes number two. The minicog are beginning to gain control of the experiment. Despite having taken on the role of prisoners, the dynamic is very clear. They do what they want, and in some cases even tell the citizens, the guards, what to do. It's very interesting to observe. Earlier, I visited the common room to find the minicog playing ball games, and the citizens locked in the cells. The self-styled leader of the minicog prisoners, Hairbiter McVeigh, informed me that they'd requested some quote, chill out time. I will have to talk to the citizens, explain to them that to become prisoner guards, they must be more assertive. Years of minicog oppression has left them timid shells. While this was good for our original purposes, it now leaves us with an army of Apex who are incapable of serving us. What's up there going on? That frog just eat something? I'm concerned. <laughs> Alright, let's do another one. You want the signs, Chronic? I am a klepto. I want it all, Devil's Nest. <laughs> Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Notes number three. The citizens are beginning to assert themselves, and the mini Kong prisoners have overturned a vending machine and were stripping it of bananas and the like. 
The citizens approached and very politely asked them to stop. The minicog ignored them, and the citizens sheepishly left. But still, it's progress. I suggested to them that perhaps groveling and begging is not the best way to show authority, but they just looked confused. <laughs> Always interesting, the stories. How do I get rid of this icon? Yeah, we don't want to invite anybody. We want to continue on our journey of thieving. Die, weird frog face thing. You're creeping me out. Ooh, he was gonna get me too. Obey. I still don't have room. Oh, I see. It's just I don't have room in that inventory section. This section is overflowed. Ditch this broken cage. I don't want it. A log. A log. Everybody wants a log. <laughs> You already have to go? Alright, Adri, we will see you later. Have a good afternoon. Thanks for hanging out today. So why do we have to build stuff in this game? Steal her one stuff, and you're good to go? Raven, yeah, you, if you want, you can just move into something like this. Like, you could move in right now and call this your house. Just pop down a flag and label it home, and uh, it could be yours. So, you don't have to build anything if you don't want, but I like building my own stuff. I think building's a lot of the fun for me. The exploring and the building, I think, is a lot of fun. So if you're enjoying the stream today, please be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and follow me here on Twitch, all at Red Lace Gaming. I'm live Tuesday through Sunday, starting at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time, and uh, I'm currently working towards the Starbound Indie Guide Kicker, which is the Indie Guide to Starbound by Red Lace, which will be coming out soon, and um, supporters get their name in the guide and early access to the guide as first editions become available. And uh, the top supporter for the Starbound Indie Kicker will receive some bonus loot, which uh, they will get their Starbound character throughout the guide. And uh, currently that is Chronic Gamer Guy with a $40 donation. He's been awesome in supporting the Indie Guide, so thank you, Chronic. And uh, unless someone tops him, Chronic's going to be inside that guide. So if you'd like to make a donation, please make one through my website, redlacegaming.com, where you can also download my other Indie Guide to Stardew Valley for free. And uh, you can also make donations through my Twitch channel through the Donate Now button. Okay, back to the fun. Back to the fun! Banana owl. <gasps> Frog merchant! Close the door, froggy! I'm stuck in the door. This guy actually sells stuff. Talk to me, frog man. Talk to me. Oh, he's not at his shop, but he's almost dead. I better save him. I killed him! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh man. So the little frog guys that have little hats on their head are frog merchants and they sell stuff. And I totally just killed him. Ooh, they have the twinkle lights though. I love these twinkle lights. These are my absolute favorite. They're the coolest lights in all the land. And I must have them all. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to move some stuff to a different inventory screen. I don't know why it just doesn't fill into other inventory spots, but... That's the way it currently is, so you have to move stuff like one at a time, which is a bit painful. But what can you do? Alright. Sugar! I got that sugar! My girl! I saw My Girl got added to Netflix for May. I'm so excited to watch it again. I love My Girl. Such a good show. So sad, but a good show. Okay. What the heck is this thing? A living root. A severed piece of evolved plant matter can be used for crafting. Interesting. Alright. Did I get my twinkle lights? Yes, getting my twinkle lights. There's a box here. 75 pixels in that plain cardboard box. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Look at this cute little trash can. It's adorable. What's in it? Five pieces of soggy paper. Why would I take this useless trash? I'm gonna take it and throw it away, and then I'm gonna take the trash can, because the trash can's cute. Okay, monster, you killed my frog friend. You're responsible. And a chest. Ooh, a teleporter core. 
a swamp bed blueprint. So if you find blueprints, you can drag them up here to your top screen and drop them in there like that. So we grab the swamp cot blueprint, drag it up to our name, and drop it in. And then you learn to craft the new item. 187 pixels, and I got a hazmat air tank. So I could stick that on my back. I don't like it as much as my spacesuit backpack, though, so I think I'm going to stick with my base spacesuit backpack. <laughs> I wasn't trying to get him, Adri. I know. I feel bad. Ooh. Spitting monster. I was trying to save him, but he just ran right into the monster, and he only had one tick of life left anyway. I think he was doomed. Either way, I think he was in a bad way. Bad way indeed. These little guys are all over. Go away. Ah, safety. There's some more of the sparkle lights. See, I love these twinkle lights. Aren't they cute? I think they're super cute. What's in here? Close the door. It's not safe out there. Four silver ore. Oops. Six medical kits. That'll come in handy. Can I take this bottle? Ooh, an Apex fruit drink. <laughs> Tasty. <laughs> I saved him from a life of suffering, grapefruit. Yes, I did. I saved him from a life of suffering. Okay. I kind of like this tiki torch. Here, I'll put a new torch on the wall and I'll take the tiki. Don't want to leave him in the dark, whoever's house this is. But I am going to jack all of these. Mine! Mine! All oh, mine! So if you're looking for a frog swamp, I actually have a video on my YouTube channel over at Red Lace Gaming where you can find a frog swamp. I have planet coordinates for it and everything. So if you're looking for one in a current stable branch giraffe, lad giraffe, um, you can go check that out and grab planet coordinates. And I found one that had a couple merchants, so you could actually go visit a few of the merchants. Auto chip. Another hazmat air pack. I guess we're selling that. Ocumelon seeds. Lagoon pants. What do those look like? Oh, those are kind of fun. They're like um, cargo military pants. Those are kind of entertaining. A lagoon mask. Oh no, look, I look like a monster. <laughs> I don't like the that. And a swamp chair blueprint. Alright. Learn to craft the swamp chair. Groovy man. Uh oh, I'm out of room again. Darn this thing. Darn my lack of room. Where did that hazmat thing go? Um, oh, there it is. So we want to stick that next to the other one so we know to sell the one. Yeah, the housing's pretty cool. I do like the look, although the swamp's pretty dangerous. I don't know if I'm a fan of the swamp so much. <laughs> Things seem pretty hostile here, Chronic. <laughs> you need to go now, Ever Twitch? Alright, we'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out. Hope to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. The murky swamp. Look at how giant these trees are. Can't even see the top. I wonder how much wood I could get out of that bad boy. Can I chop it down? Let's see if I can get just a massive amount of wood. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Giant tree. 33 wood. Can I catch these? No. Hey look, there's a frog. He's safely inside his house, and he's got a little friend too. Hey frog. He's like, I don't speak. What do you want? I'm gonna steal your furniture, is that okay? He seems a little upset that I'm taking his furniture. But he doesn't have any weapons to stop me, so... <laughs> I'm gonna take...
take it. It's gonna be mine. He's got a pretty goblet and a pretty table, and the goblet will go really nice in my new kitchen. At least I think so. I think it'll be awesome. Super swanky new kitchen decor. What, what? <laughs> Alright, I need to just sort some things here. I have stuff all over the place. It's such a mess. Okay. Thanks, frog. He's like, I'm out of here. This chick just stole all my loot. He's kind of got like a prison cell going on here. A little creepy. Why would you open the door, frog? Are you crazy? Yeah, the mask is a no-go chronic. Totally creepy, I know. <laughs> we'll steal the housing in the swamp and build a house somewhere else. That's a good idea. Yeah, I really like all the vines and stuff. I think the vines are really cool. Those are pretty. I like them. This is actually a Hyotal lantern, this one right here. Which is pretty cool. Tomorrow is May the 4th be with you, Day Green. Ah. <laughs> May the 4th be with you as well. <laughs> More twinkle lights. <gasps> and a frog merchant. Yes. Hey, frogs. This one's in love. No, don't leave. I want to shop. I want to shop with you. Oh, this is a shop. Okay. Fair enough. So he sells the dusty chair, the bomb, oil lanterns, molotovs, bathroom trash, grass seeds, and a trash can. Okay, well I'm gonna sell a bunch of stuff with him. I'm gonna make some money off of all this Apex stuff I got. So I don't need three of these desks. Oh, I just sold all three of the desks. Oh no, I didn't. So we want to sell two of the desks. Two desks. And I don't really like the servers or the chairs. And I don't need three computer monitors, so we're going to sell two of those. Um, what else can we sell? I like the TV. I don't like the doors. The danger sign, console keyboard. Um, trash can. Okay, so let's sell that stuff. Then we have a, a hazmat pack, but it's not worth anything. That's kind of lame. Apex life support pods. They're worth pretty good money. Uh, what else? Weaponry? I know we have some weapons to sell. Sell the Shade Co. Polarizer. The Zilu Pulse Barrage. The seashell shield that I can't pronounce. Uh oh, monster! I see him. He's gonna try to try to get him. Is there anything else I want to sell while I'm talking to this dude? I don't know. I think the rest I kind of want to keep. Uh oh, I gotta get this monster. He's gonna kill him. He's gonna kill him. Get away! Who has their shop outside in the middle of the, the swamp? I don't understand. Thug red lace smoky. Oh, I saved him. You're welcome. You're welcome, frog. He's like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I just saved you, buddy. He saved you from certain doom, and now I'm gonna steal all your twinkle lights. <laughs> yeah, chronic. You got your birthday the day after. What? what? <laughs> Alright, Tom, we'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good one. Welcome back, Papyrus. Okay. Let me in. So only the ones with the little red hats sell stuff. I love this little table lamp. I'm totally stealing it. It's mine. Here, you can have a torch instead. What's this thing? Don't shoot my friends. Don't you spit on my friends, you big lady. I don't know why they go stand outside like morons. They're not the smartest, the frog villagers. Not the smartest ones I've seen. Dirt urchin seeds. Because we always need more of those. Pixels. And you have a keg. They kind of have such a hodgepodge. They have like 
hyodal roofing with floor and stuff mixed with hyodal and glitch items. It's a total hodgepodge of things. It's pretty cool. Another one. Hey, frog. Bye, frog. Ow. I think the frogs in the swamp need to be more afraid of their surroundings because they seem a little too comfortable. They're like, it's no thing. I'm just going to hang out in the swamp. All right, Devoki, see you later. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good one. Reef pods. Well, this is strange. How do I get up there? I can't jump that high. I'm gonna have to build a little... a little platform to jump on. Ooh, that's a pretty bug. It's like pink. The bright stripe bug. I think it was the same one I already got, but that one looked different for some reason. Not sure why. More sugar! I know there's a lot of coal there. I should have grabbed it, but I didn't. <laughs> There's a lot of coal here. I'll grab this coal. I'll get the coal. Try and take advantage of the daytime while the sun's out. Book it across the planet. what I always wanted. Grassy rocks. This is all grassy rock. It's a monster party up here. Flies everywhere. I have the best fly swatter in all the land. <laughs> Sorry, fly, I'm too fast for you. You can't catch me. This is like a bunny rabbit. A bunny rabbit monster. <laughs> Banana seeds, just lying on the ground. Ooh, sugar cane. Sugar, sugar. Do, 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 do. Oh, honey, honey. There's lots of sugar. I think we're gonna have to go back and make that cake. Turn it in. As soon as I get around the surface of the planet. You had a planet that barely had any coal or ore, you had to start over, Chronic? That's so weird. I really wonder if it does have to do with the fact that you're playing on a Mac. I wonder. You have to do homework, Papyrus? Womp womp. Can't say I'm, uh... I'm sad to be out of school. I don't miss homework. <laughs> miss it at all. I have a chest. What do you have? Matter ma manipulator components, 225 pixels, well, bam, three bio samples, three reef pods, and a medical kit. Awesome. And some pineapple just hanging out. Sun's gonna go down soon. Oh no! Oh no! I don't like it when it gets dark and creepy. I might just leave if it gets dark and go do that quest. 
This is a great place to stock up on vines, though. All this ground stuff you can break. Oh, this is a pit of death. Those spikes will kill me. You can see the little skull and crossbones floating off of them. Those are like insta-death. You jump on those, you're done for. That's why nighttime, it's dangerous. You couldn't see those if it was dark out. You'd be walking right into a super trap. I'm going to cut through. I don't want to try to go over. Oh, look at that. Look what I revealed by wanting to cut through. A secret little hidden chest. Ooh. <laughs> Alright, Chronic. Teleporter core, 12 titanium ore, 10 silver, 3 dirt urchins, 75 pixels, and 2 diamonds. That was a good chest to find. Diamonds indeed. Okay, so that's the beginning. That's where I put that torch down. So we've made it all the way around the surface. So let's get out of here. Let's leave. Let's go make ourselves a cake. <laughs> all right. Um, let's drop off a few things here real fast. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I know I have lots of stuff to drop off. I just have to decide what stuff I want to drop off. Um, those. Teleporter cores. Medical kits. Tech drives. Um, what else? I really need to do some serious organization because my stuff's a bit of a mess right now. You don't need this. You don't need grassy blocks. You don't need that. Add that to my water supply. One ornate wood block's not going to do me a whole lot of good. Clay, I have plenty of that. Four plant matter blocks. Plant matter's kind of cool. Sand. Bye, sand. Glass will keep. Move our wood. Unrefined wood. Definitely don't want to lose that. We'll drop off this chest. Um, what else? Drop off this chest. And this chest. Barrels. Barrels of fun. And that one. Okay, let's go, let's go bake a cake at home sweet home. Baking a cake. So excited to bake a cake. Down we go to and fro. Alright, so for the cake, we need... Where's the cake? Okay, for the cake, we need one wheat, one sugar, one milk, and one egg. It's a delicious cake! And I know I have all those things, so I just gotta find out where I put them. <laughs> one egg, one milk, one wheat, we'll just grab ten, chalk it up to good practices. Let's drop off this other weird fruit. These are seeds. Um, Where's the actual fruit? Reef pod. I don't need this kelp. Dirt urchin. Toxic tops. Pineapples. Okay. Making the cake. Making a cake. Let's bake a delicious cake. Okay, so we got all the ingredients. Prepare. Learn to craft chocolate cake, coffee cake, and carrot cake. Yum, yum, yum. So we made our cake. Isn't it pretty? Pretty pink cake. <laughs> Alright, so let's go to the outpost and turn it in. <laughs> Sounds about right, Devil's Nest. Explore a deadly radioactive world, then bake a cake. Yes. Isn't that what all girl apes do? 
<laughs> my apex character it's probably something that an apex would do go bake a cake after a hard day exploring <laughs> okay to the leggy outpost we go alright dude who wanted this cake there he is the leg post <laughs> Oh, look at that. He's running away. Come back. I won't hurt you, I promise. <laughs> Jeez, he's just running away from me. Dude, was it really that important that you come here to dry your hands? Like you couldn't wait? Butcher, baker, widow, maker, quest complete. Perfect. It says, sorry, I killed your husband on it in icing. Enjoy your sword, it might need a clean. Well, thank you, mister. Thank you so much. So he gave me an upgrade module and a tech locky solar sword, which is a broadsword, two-handed with fire damage, with a special blink explosion, 17.1 damage and a 1.3 rate of fire. What's my sword? 22. But this one does fire. And it's got a blink explosion. Let's try it real quick. Let's just give it a go. Give it a little go-see. Well, it's hard to tell here. It's so laggy. I'll have to take it back to my house and try it out. Okay, so we need to make Durasteel. Oh, and look, I can finally upgrade my ship, guys. At the Penguin Bay. Hi there, would you be interested in a Sparrow Class License ship upgrade? It's not exactly what you'd call legit, but your software should accept it and allow you to upgrade your ship. Bring me two diamonds and it's yours. Yay guys, ship upgrade. You have to go now? Alright greens, we'll see you later. Have a good one. Have a good night. Coffee cake doesn't sound too good. Oh, Katakoro. Coffee cake's delicious. Have you ever had it? I really like coffee cake. It's scrumptious. <laughs> My grandma Evelyn makes amazing coffee cake. <laughs> Except, okay, so now we can turn in our quest to him. Quest complete. We have a deal. Enjoy your license. Talk to your sale to get upgrading. Help out enough around here and I might offer you something better. Yay, I got a license. License obtained. Okay, so let's go back to our ship and upgrade. Because how swanky is that, man? We get a bigger ship. Bigger ship time. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. Sail. Upgrade our ship, please. So we're going to go to the Let's Talk menu. And now we have a command to upgrade ship to Sparrow Class. I see you got your Sparrow Class license. Now we can upgrade your ship if you bring me two upgrade modules. I'll initiate the upgrade procedure. Okay, so I don't think I have two on me. I have one on me. It's this thing right here, an upgrade module. So let me grab my other one. I have four of them, so we'll grab one more. Or two more. Because <laughs> it's being finicky. We'll go back to sail. Upgrade ship. issue command and the bunny gets hard at work the upgrade is complete enjoy your new home I suspect more people will be asking you for help now that you have a bigger ship oh and I can also enable wire mode now wire mode allows your matter manipulator to wire together various objects I can enable it for you yes please wire mode enabled yay now I can upgrade my wiring or craft a wiring station. If I use three matter manipulator modules, I can upgrade your matter manipulator to increase its mining area. Do I have enough on me? I don't have three on me. Coffee cake does sound great, Paris, I agree. <laughs> Yeah, cinnamon and brown sugar is my favorite too, Chronic. 
I agree. Yeah. Okay, so let's check out our ship upgrade. This looks like it added on a back, so everything behind this little wall is new. Behind the hazard blocks, so I got this whole new section. Yay! Yay! Whole new section, whole new section. That's pretty exciting. Now I get a, a bigger ship area. Cool stuff. I could even decorate with some of my cool new things I found. Like my Apex desk. I could put a little office in here. Make a little office. So we got a desk. And a computer monitor. And... I got a table. I could put in a table. And some chairs. What else do I have? Um, I have a cool bookcase. That goes with my my office-y look, right? And a cool cupboard so I can store stuff. Cool cupboard. I think those should be switched. Bookcase and then the cupboard. So cool cupboard. And then the bookcase. Groovy man. And then what else do I have? What else? I can put these neato weird apex stuff up here. Kind of decorate it out. Little jars. Alright, Pavel, we'll see you later. Have a good night. Um, what else do we have? Oh yeah, we gotta have the obey sign, right? That's gotta happen. We gotta put out the obey sign. Obey! It doesn't center. That's too bad. Alright, well we'll put it there. Obey, Apex. <laughs> oh, we got this cool little light we can put it on the table. A cool little light. And uh, an Apex fruit drink. That seems like something we might want to put in our kitchen on the house, though. I think I'm going to save that. Um, can I put another one here? No. Alright, well, I think that's all the Apex stuff that I really like that I want to put in here. But that's pretty groovy. So now we got some new swanky space in our, in our ship. Although I think my table and my chair are too close. So let's move it over a little. So, desk there. Computer. There we go. That's better. Check it out. Yay! I'm so excited about my bigger ship. <laughs> yeah, you like my rocket ship bed? <laughs> Great fruit. It's awesome, huh? <laughs> Yeah, the ship almost doubled in it actually did. It doubled in size. Devil's Nest. Awesome, huh? Double the size. And I got some more turrets up top, which is pretty cool. Pretty nice having a bigger ship. I can zoom out. We can really see it. Zoom out. Check it out now. My big spaceship. <laughs> Am I going to be able to stack certain things on top of each other, like bit bigger items with smaller items on top, like you do with the desk and the computer? Yes, you can, Chronic. You can stack all sorts of things. You also have the option to um, use platforms to put things on top of. Ooh, hello. So, um, like I got these... Where are they? Oh, that's not the platforms. Um, here they are. So you could use platforms like this to put um, shelving in. So you could put something up there on top of the shelf if you wanted. So you could put like a whole row of, you know, these weird little jars up here if you wanted to do that. So you can kind of stack stuff up that way as well. Just make shelves wherever you want. Gives you some other options to decorate using shelving and so forth. So that's pretty groovy. 